I'm saying is, you could circle that whole area there that's the floodplain, and that's recreational. And then the bit bordering that is pretty much residential, except for the area just north of Winnell. Can Winnell. you see all of those yellow buildings to the right or to the east? Yeah. your map. Yeah. Industrial that? estate. A Winnell Industrial Estate, yeah. That's so that's right. That part, of, part of this recreational area is bordered and it's the bit that's over in, in kind of that direction over there is an industrial estate. And it's got a big Tesco's and all sorts of supermarkets With as well as lots of other things. So I used yeah. to have my guitar. The water's so, very clear here. Because this yeah, area right. again floods regularly. You, if you come here at the right time of year, a lot of the pitches are covered in water. Now, in order to try and minimise the impact of that flooding, the Winchester City Council and also Hampshire County Council have invested a lot of money, along with the Environment Agency <coughs> and the University of Southampton, to try and um, restore this section of river. They've also built a lot of flood defences that it weren't too obvious because they've tried to, to make them very subtle and to blend in. But if you look in that direction, can you see there's a berm? A berm is a little bank. So there's a bank and there's also, underneath that bank, a solid concrete wall. So they've created this low level um, flood protection that goes the whole way around the leisure park and also there's a primary school. It's not and that good of flood protection though, it always floods every year. No, they've done that in response to, so it can still flood but it won't damage the building. Now, what you're going to do in a minute is wander around and explore this a bit more. And this is also when we're going to have the opportunity to speak to people and ask some questions. Yes, about so nice. we'll talk about that more in a second. Why do we write the questions down? Probably you've got the two back pages of lined paper, so you can use those. But oh. I want us to think about this section here first of all. Now, in total, the flood defence or the flood protection is nearly a million pounds. A million pounds? Yeah, a million pounds. Yeah. And it's something like. Oh, I would need to check this, but it's a few hundred thousand that's been spent on restoring this section of the river. And what they've done is it used to be concrete banks and it was perfectly straight. And you can see some of that here. So it's oh. artificially banked. And what, oh, they, what was shoot. a million? Which this one is, bit was a million? So this flood protection is a million pounds. Is this the pit that was like that massive concrete bit, the shopping trolley that they made no longer? So what they've done is they <laughs> have added in these little islands. And what that does, well you tell me, what does it do? Well, it's just hang out there. So it's created a habitat. Probably we can't get them. Created a habitat for, for fish, for birds. For also laying fish. eggs. And the other thing is, it's beneficial for flood pro um, protection and prevention because it retains the water. The water 